ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದುಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವೈಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ್ವಚ ಶ್ನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ಇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋಧರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಬಭೀಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನುಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋಭವಧೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಪಿತಾಂಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ರಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಲಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ರಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಲಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷೋ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ಸ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ನಿಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
अनादि निधनम ब्रह्म सद्य तत्व जदक्षर निवर्तते अर्थ भाव प्रक्रिया यगतु यतः अनादि निधनम ब्रह्म शब्द तत्व जदक्षर निवर्तते अर्थ भाव प्रक्रिया यगत यतः गौरिय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट आई लाइक टू सबमिट आन टू द लोटस पीट ऑफ सच ए गुरु हू कैन गिव मी हंड्रेड पर्सेंट मंगल इन माई लाइफ पार्शियल मंगल आई कैन नॉट टेक एवरी वर्ड देर इज सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल हेयर गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दे आई लाइक टू सबमिट अन टू द लोटस फिट ऑफ सच ए गुरु हु कैन गिव मी हंड्रेड परसेंट मंगल पार्शल मंगल आई कैन नॉट टेक दो जोगी गुरु ज्ञानी गुरु कौर्मी गुरु और सो कॉल पीपल आर एक्सेप्टिंग गुरु इन देयर फैमिली लाइफ कुलो गुरु इट्स कॉल कुलो गुरु पवा स्पीकिंग देयर दे आर नॉट एबल टू हेल्प यू टू क्रॉस ओवर दिस मेटीरियल रूल वाट टू स्पीक मोर दे इवन दे कैन नॉट काट देयर ओन बॉन्डेज इवन दे कैन नॉट काट देयर ओन बॉन्ड हाउ यू कैन हाउ दे कैन सेव यू how they can save you that is the main problem when pope was speaking i like to submit unto the lotus feet of such a sadguru such guru who can give me 100% mangal that's mean pope had wanted to speak about south of pantha pope had wanted to say about exact south of pantha because If my Guru Path Padma is not established in Sauta Pantha, surely he cannot give me hundred percent Mangal. That is the center. The whole world, they are running opposite direction. They have no idea, clear idea. They have no clear idea about this. So, if Guru Path Padma, my Guru Path Padma is not established in Sauta Pantha. exactly what shabda brahma coming in through parampara shabda brahma coming to me through parampara sauta pantha that is okay if my guru path path is not established in sauta pantha then i cannot get mangal not possible and actually jibu goshai pad also going to express strong siddhanta that sauta bandha i mean shabda brahma shabda praman is the topmost i mean not ordinary shabda two type of shabda you can find here one is material shabda what you are using discussing with each other different kind of sound a material sound and another is aprakita shabda brahma only can come through perceptual channel slightly deviated my guru padma slightly deviated then i cannot get full connection big problem will be there sila bamon dev ji goswami bhagwan bamon bamon bhagwan Today is the Avirbhav Tithi. Bhagwan appear. Anyway, we like to discuss some point, very important point, so that in practical life we can use all this formula, this bhajan formula. We can use it. Bali Maharaj, you can see. Bali Maharaj, 
was not at all ready to accept the opinion, suggestion of Sukracharya, Koli Guru. Is a Kuli Kulo Guru, Koli Guru in Osur Parampara. In Osura destiny, they accept Sukracharya as their Guru. But but anyway, Bali Maharaj was not at all ready to accept the suggestion, I mean the advice of his Gurudev, Sukracharya. In fact, in fact, Bali Maharaj never accepted, never wanted to accept, never accepted Sukracharya as original Guru. Never. He wanted to accept, he already accepted Pallad Maharaj as his Guru because Pallad Maharaj is in Sautu Bhanta, in line, Bhagavad Dharma, in general. I am not speaking about uh, Raganuga Bhakti, uh, Rupanuga Bhakti, not that. In general, Bhagavad Dharma, it is called Jivan. They are all our Guru Varga, they are in general or in Sautu Bhanta, Bhagavad Dharma, Bhagavad Parampara. It's okay. Eh, some speciality there in our Sampada Gauri, that is different thing. But they are originally in Bhagavad Parampara. So, they are all respected by all our Gauri, uh, uh, Vaishnav Sampada, whole Vaishnav Sampada. Sukrachajyo wanted to suggest to Bali Maharaj, he think he is my disciple. So, speaking, don't give any donation to Bali Maharaj to Bhamandev. Actually, Bhamandev Ji Bhagavan wanted to appreciate Bali Maharaj and his all destiny. I mean, Hiranyakasipu, Hiranyakyo. There was some technique. Why Bhaman Ji Maharaj, Bhaman Bhagavan wanted to adopt this kind of technique? Because this is a very scientific procedure. Follow this is very scientific procedure because if you appreciate somebody, it is the Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarva. Baba speaking, it is the Siddhanta Vichara, very unique technique of Prabhupada. Prabhupada. But you cannot, I think, apply in this stage. You have to go high stage. Prabhupada used to say, if my appreciation to you, if I glorify you, if my appreciation, I am going to appreciate you. If this kind of appreciation, my appreciation is going to give me some facility in Hari Bhajan, then I can do it. Follow. Otherwise, you will have to follow strict regulation. What is that? That is, many times Prabhupada used to say, don't try to appreciate or or you you know insult or you know speak something derogatory against anybody because if you do it then all the bad qualities in that man you are going to criticize i know if you like to criticize somebody or appreciate somebody it is prohibited parashabhava karmani no prasangshat na karhe. Para shabhava karmani, para shabhava karmani, no prasangshat na karhe. Somebody doing something. Para shabhava karmani. Shabhav, habit, and karma, what is doing? Don't try to criticize. Because if you criticize, para shabhava karmani, no prasangshat na karhe. Or don't try to criticize or don't try to appreciate also. Oh matter what problem if I appreciate? Problem is there. When you are going to appreciate somebody or criticize somebody, then you will have to concentrate. Because you are speaking about that man. When you are going to appreciate or criticize somebody or something, then you will have to concentrate because your mind is there. Connection then continuously a flow of your criticism coming. And during that time, you are going to lose your bhajan. During that period, 
you are going to lose your vajan inevitable. So parasabhava karmani no prasansad no garhe. Don't criticize or don't. But if my if my appreciation, if my appreciation for you, to you, or any object going to give me extra facility in my Hari Bhajan, then I must do it. But this technique you cannot apply it right now in this position. Those who are elevated by Shnabhas, high, they can do it, like Prabhupada, Gaur Kishat Babaji, they can apply it. They can do it very, they are clever. So, if I am going, to, if Prabhupada used to say that if I am going to get extra visit, many big, big, honorable person in the society, Prabhupada invite them in the assembly and going to appreciate them. Why? Because in that case, I can do more and more Gauru Bani Sheva. Is one kind of technique. If I invite them, then all other common people can come. They can say, oh, this man coming, so we can go. So they can also pay attention. Because people want to feel some, people want to feel some importance. I am important going there. People don't like to feel that we are useless, we are going to some useless place. That way it was the technique of Prabhupada. We must invite, we must invite people. After that, we can write in the gate, no entry, without permission, no admission, without permission. It is a technique of Prabhupada. We must invite people. Invitation, they can come. And in our gate, they can find no admission without permission. Prabhupada speaking, if not there, they can see it is cheap. Goryamad is very cheap. Of course, many organizations wanted to prove that Goryamad is cheap. They cannot do it. They cannot do it. They can try. But I can prove 100%. They cannot do it. They are failure. Anyway, that is the technique. Bhaman Bhagavan wanted to apply here. Bhaman Bhagavan wanted to apply this technique because in that case, he can get some facility. I mean, those demigods, they are devotee. They are devotee, no? Demigods. For them, Bhaman Bhagavan wanted to arrange something. So, first of all, he started appreciating. Oh, he was... Because... Bali Maharaj speaking, what you want? You come here in my Jagya place, you can ask anything I can give you. I can give you anything what you want. If you want this, you know, some continent, some anything if you want. Because I am the controller of three worlds, Sarga Mattapatal, I am the king. So you can ask him. But Bhaman Maharaj, Bhaman Dev wanted to ask only three footsteps of land. Only three footsteps of land. That was very surprising. Bhaman Bhagavan, Bhagavan, Bhagavan wanted to ask only three footsteps of land, which is impractical. Even no foolish man can ask this. So, our Bali Maharaj was very much surprised. He said, I am the topmost donor. So if somebody coming to take some donation from me, he can take so many things from me. Why you are going to? You can get nothing. Only three foots of land. Oh, that also your small, your short figure. So what you can do? What is the utility? But Bhaman Bhaman Bhagavan wanted to stick to his demand. I only, only I want three foot. If you like to give, you give. Otherwise I can go away. Because we can show you from Shastra, Nuhush Maharaj, Go, Goy Maharaj, so many Maharajas there. They never wanted to check their demand. They never wanted to check their demand. In fact, they were not satisfied. Goy, Nuhush, you know, Nuhush, Nuhush was given the Kingship of heaven, but then also dissatisfaction. 
So satisfaction cannot come. Only satisfaction you can find inside the heart of a pure Vaishnava. Shukham asti virakta shamunir ekanta jivina. Only and only you can find satisfaction, complete satisfaction inside the heart of a pure Vaishnava, Guru Vaishnava. Nowhere you can find. So, Bhaman, Bhaman Dev Bhagavan speaking, I want this much because if I want to accept so many things, then I can lose my power. I cannot take. Whatever I need, that I I like to do bhajan, I sit here and do. Then, then Bali Maharaj was about to offer, I mean with water in hand, there is some mantra, resolution, in donation. In the meantime, material guru, material guru, I mean Sukracharya, going to check him, don't give. Don't give because he is Vishnu, Esha Vishnu Rabbayaha. E Bairachane, he is the son of Birachan. You are foolish. In the short height, he is Vishnu coming here. Vishnu Rabbayaha. He is going to, going to take away everything from you and want to give everything to. Demigods, I mean, so don't give. But Bali Maharaj told, I promise him to give. So I knew how I can give. I promise him to give, so I knew how I can give. So Bali Maharaj didn't think it necessary to pay attention to the advice of Sukracharya with water he offered. In that case, Sukracharya curse cursed him, he cursed him, that you can lose all your Aisharja, Sri, Sri, you can Sri Bhashta. Bhashta mean? You can lose everything, all Sri. But still, it is written there, still Bali Maharaj was not ready to come back. Still Bali Maharaj was not ready to come back from his resolution. I promise, I cannot do. This way, Bali Maharaj wanted to give the nation, but ultimately it came true. I mean, Bhamandip Bhagavan wanted to show his Bisharup, I mean, going to extend his leg. That was that time a short figure. Now extend his leg. This art, heaven, all everything. Even Brahmalok going to cross and going to put a dash, you know, there in Brahma Kataho. Brahma Kataho means there is one leakage. From there, water coming, that is called Ganga, Chinma, anyway. So, this way, Baman Bhagavan wanted to bless him. How? Because Three foot step of land. He promised. But first step, second step, everything gone. Nothing left. Now, Bali Maharaj has nothing to claim that it is mine. Oh, this is mine. Cannot say. Because all captured, no? All, everything taken away. And nothing left. Nothing left. Then he will have to go to hell because you promise. Your failure to give, in that case, what will happen? In that case, Bindavali, the chesty lady, wife of Bhaman, uh, uh, Bali Maharaj, coming with a golden pitcher full of Tirtha water, Tirtha or pilgrimage water, and going to hand over to husband, I mean Bali Maharaj, and requesting him to wash the lotus feet of Bhaman Bhagavan, Vishnu, and suggesting, why not you give your head for the third place? Because no place left. But no place left, then why not you give your head? Then he was saved, I mean going to put, give, give his head in front of Bhaman Bhagavan, 
the Vaman Gang with the foot leg on the head of Bali Maharaj and finally it was discovered that is the, the topmost keeper. Prahlad Maharaj was present there. Prahlad Maharaj was shedding tears. Prabhu, this kind of keeper, nobody never got. What kind of keeper you are going to give to him? This way, actually, Bhaman Bhagavan wanted to take everything. You can think everything gone mean it is bad luck. Material people can think everything gone means Maharaj is bad luck, everything gone. But not that. Everything gone. But the topmost property in the infinity world, I mean the lotus feet of Vishnu, he is going to get. Going to get, na? So, is not going to lose, lose anything. Finally, he was given place in Shutal, which is more and more gorgeous, very full of planets, even more than heavenly planet. He was given that. Not only that, but also Vishnu Maharaj promised him to stay as a great man. Follow. This way, all the we know, Bhagavad Kipa, Bhagavan, can come to me only if I follow Sautapanta. Yes or not? Yes or not, na? So much success was there because Bali Maharaj wanted to pay attention to the Sautapanta. Now, we can switch over to our, uh, this subject matter. Today is the Tithi of our Jiva Goswami Path, who is our Tata Charjo. Who is our Tata Charjo? Topmost Tata Charjo in our Sampradaya. So, this Jiva Goswami Path, about him, I like to speak something, background. You know everything, but still like to touch something. There is some contradiction, I mean different kind of opinion about the Avirvaptiti of Bhaman, about the Avirvaptiti of Jiva Goswami Pad. But Bhakti Mir Thakur wanted to establish some document by searching different library, especially Banamali Goswami, uh, Radharaman Gosai there, the library and from other places, Vishambarananda Goswami, I mean, uh, you don't know, Vishambarananda Goswami is in Parampara of Samananda Prabhu, Rashikananda Prabhu, is very powerful person. Who was, who was the president of the assembly of Brahman Vaishnava? Brahman Vaishnava and the assembly was there in Midnapur, you don't know. Big assembly. Regarding the discussion of Brahman Vaishnava, that assembly was presided over by this great Vaishnava. It's from Samananda Pariva. And Prabhupada was the main speaker. He was requested by everybody to solve this problem. So, Prabhupada. So, Vishamananda Goswami, his library is there. I went there. I went there long ago. So, there, Bhakti Thakur searching so many things and according to that, uh, you know, according to those documents, Bhakti Thakur wanted to say that when Goranga Mahaprabhu went there in Ramkeli, you know, Ramkeli, don't know, North Bengal, near Malda, Malda, North Bengal, that was the place of Rup Sanatan, I mean, they, they used to stay there. So, Jiva Goswami Path took birth much before that. I mean, when Gauranga went there, went there, that time Jiva Goswami Path was one of the small boy. Bhakti Mutava wanted to prove that when Gauranga Mahapu went there in Ramkali Gram to meet with Rup Sanatan, I mean, to bestow Kipa on them, that time, night time, three brothers, Rup, Sanatan, Anupam and the small boy Jiva Goswami also came. I mean, Bhakti Mahatma wanted to say, Darshan of Sriman Mahaprabhu, already he got. I mean, Jiva Goswami. 
Anyway, after I am going to cut short, after leaving home, Rupa Goswami Pad gone, Anupam gone. Anupam already left body in between. I have no time to discuss. And finally, Sanatana Goswami was free from jail. Sanatana Goswami was free from jail and gone to meet with Mahaprabhu. I meet Mahaprabhu there in Bharat. So anyway, all details there. Jiva Goswami Pad, when Rup Sanatana gone, and father already gone from this material world. In that case, Jiva Goswami Pad was so feeling so pain. Father gone in small age. And Rupa Goswami Pad, I mean Sanatan already gone. He was almost helpless. By keeping in memory all the loveful behavior of Rupa Sanatan father, they wanted to think and about Gorang Mahaprabhu, always crying. So, he already completed his education. I mean, him, his schooling and everything was done there. I mean, up to Vyakaran, Alankar, Ved, Vedanta, everything done. Veda, of course, Ved, Vedanta, he already went to Varanasi. So, in dream, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, Shaparshat. Gorang Mapu came with Nithananda, all Saparshap, and in dream, Jiva Goswami was watching, they are dancing, this kind of keeper. Finally, he was not able to stay at home. So much Aishajya, affluences, immense treasure, but still he cannot stay there. Finally, he, in the pretext, of reading their more advanced study. I like to go to Navaddi because that time Navaddi was big high study center. So he left home. That was his technique. He left home and came in Navaddi. There he meet with some devotees. How many devotees? Finally, he was able to get the full kripa of Nitanand Prabhu. Nityanand Babu already there in Chaitanya Bhagavad Chaitanya you can buy. Nityanand Babu speaking or in Bhakti Ratna, one book by Narari Sharka Taku. Bhakti Ratna. Bhakti Ratna. Bhakti Ratna. There you can find. That Nityanand Babu speaking. Finally, when Nityanand Babu was waiting in the, in the house of, in a mandir of Sivas Pandit, somebody speaking. But before that, Nithyanabha was speaking, I think Jiva already coming to me. Nithyanabha was sitting inside room and speaking, I think Jiva al already coming to me. Somebody is not already coming, he already came here, waiting for you, outside gate. Then, bring him. After coming, Jiva Goswami Pat coming, started crying, brushed into tears and paying prostate down the words. Nityananda Babu putting his lotus feet on his head and blessing. My Prabhu, give you place in Vrindavan, so you will have to go to Vrindavan. But before that, it was the extreme kipa of Nityananda Babu. By the guidance of Nityananda Babu, he was successful to do Navadip Damparikram. Unique. Exclusive blessing. By the causeless mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, Jiva Goswami Path was successful to parikram, circumbulance, parikrama of Navadivdham. And Srinivasa Ajay was successful by our Ishan Thakur. Follow. Anyway, so this way, after completing parikram, by the order of Nityananda Babu, he first gone to Varanasi Dham. Why? Is one kind of from Varanasi he was a, he is supposed to go to Vrindavan. Why Varanasi? Because in Varanasi, one disciple of Sarvam Bhattacharya. We all know. 
Sarvam Vartajajo was Mayavadi. We know. But Sarvam Vartajajo, Sarvam Vartajajo was successful to get the full kipa of Chaitanya Mahapu finally. And unique discussion between Vedanta Baksha, between Mahaprabhu and Sarvam Vartajajo. After after Sarvam Vartajajo, after Sarvam Vartajajo was a, after Sarvam Vartajajo changed his decision. I mean, when he became great Vaishnava, that time, one great devotee of Sarvam Vartajajo, his name is Madhusudan Bachaspati. He was then Varanasi. He was the topmost Vedantist. He was the topmost Vedantist at Varanasi Dham that time. Theistic Vedanta, not that Mayabad Vedanta. That time he was the topmost there because he was lucky to receive all this kind of Vedanta Vakha, I mean Gauriya Vedanta Vakha from Sarvam Vartajo and Sarvam Vartajo all received from Gauranga Mahaprabhu. From Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Sarvam Vartajo received and Sarvam Vartajo he received. So this was, he was the very ill. So that time, Jiva Goswami went there in Varanasi and he started learning Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, everything by watching the power, grasping power. Some teacher can teach you, but you should have your learning ability. Na? So by watching the unique learning ability, Mojizan was gone mad. How possible in this material world we never saw? Only after hearing. Whole Vedanta can speak. Totally. Within very short period of time, Jivaka Srimpad was, it was one it is one kind of you know teachings. Jivaka Srimpad, eternal parsat. Bhakti Matao told, even we can say safely that Jivaka Srimpad was no less than Ramanuja Charchu. Even more than that. More than that, why I say? Don't think otherwise. I can explain it. Bhakti Mahatma writing about Jiva Goswami we can say safely that Jiva Goswami was the standard of Jiva Goswami you know, just like Ramanuja Church, he wrote. Or more than that, why? Because Ramanuja Jo Ram Onujo, Ramana Chachu, going to give. But here extra facility you get. Why I am speaking more? Excuse me. Why I am speaking more? More I am speaking for two points. First point is that Ramana Chachu surely not giving, giving us Gauriya Vedanta. Gauriya Vedanta we are not going to get from Ramana Chachu. We are getting Vedanta. But Gauriya Vedanta we are not getting. You are getting from Jiva Goswami Bhat, which he has received originally from Mahaprabhu, who is Radha Bhava Subalita. Originally received, na? Originally who? Originally Mahaprabhu giving to Sarvam, Sarvam giving to Madhusudan Bhat, Madhusudan Bhat giving to, originally it is coming from there. This point, first. Second point is that, it is coming from Gorang Mapu who is Radha Babu Vibhavita. So Radha Rani, Radha Babu Vibhavita, if Gorang Mapu going to give going to give some special Siddhanta Bichar, is more more practical, na? Because Radha Rani, Baba is Radha Rani Gorang Mapu. So what I told you, if Krishna going to think that Radha Rani is my guru. If Krishna is going to think other, so what's wrong in it? Siddhanta is okay. Third point is that that eternally there are Radha Parshad. Jiva Goswami Bhad, Radha Rani Parshad, Bilas Manjari. But our Ramanuja is not Radha Rani Parshad. Excuse me, Ramanuja is great. But still I can get this facility extra. So in this sense, I can say more. Otherwise, I should not speak more. Bhakti Muta told, J. Jiva Goswami Bhad, his standard is like Ramanushaj. 
almost, you know, same. But it is one kind of, you know, the teachings. Jiva Goswami Pad is eternally present, Gaur Parshat, Gauranga Parshat. Finally, is going to Vrindavan there. They are finally going to stay with Rupa Goswami Pad. I am going to cut short, not going to, because I need to discuss Siddhanta Vichar. Here also Siddhanta Vichar, not that, nothing there. So, Jiva Goswami Pad staying with Rupa Goswami Pad. Rupa Goswami Pad, Jiva Goswami Pad writing, in Bhakti Ratnagadhi book and Chaitanya Charitamrita, writing, by the mercy of Sanatan the Great, I am getting the extreme point of Siddhanta Vishar. He is writing, I, you can show Chaitanya, I can show you. By the causeless mercy of Sanatan Goswami, I am going, going to get the extreme point of Though I am speaking extreme point, but still it is endless. Because it is Aprakita, na? In Aprakita Jagat, there is a conception of finite conception not applicable. So, though I am speaking, I am extreme, Siddhanta, but still we should understand, though I am speaking extreme, but not that it is extreme. Endless. This all, you should be very clever. Because Gaudiya Siddhanta, which are very foolish people, cannot understand this kind of Siddhanta. Vijaya. So, Jiva Goswami is speaking, by the causeless mercy of Sanatana Goswami Path, I am going to touch the en en extreme point of Siddhanta Vishar. And by the mercy of Rupa Goswami Path, I am going to extreme point of Rasa Siddhanta Vishar. Rasa Pranta Bengali Riti. But Bengali is, uh, translation is impossible. Extreme point of Rasutattva Siddhanta Vichara, I am getting. Jiva Goswami Pad is going to confess. But one very, very painful, painful thing, those material people, they are going to claim that Jiva Goswami Pad is not at all in line with Rup Sanatan. Why? Why? He wanted to establish Shakya. Whereas uh, Rupa Goswami and Sanatana, they wanted to establish Parvati. Bhakti Mahatma wanted to say, they are rascal number one. They have no idea. They are going to commit aparad unto a lotus feet of Jiva Goswami path. Before writing, uh, you know, Sarva Sangadini or Shatra Sandarbha, before writing, I can show you Jiva Goswami path writing pranam. By consulting Vridha Vaishnavoi. Vridha Vaishnavoi, Madha Chajyo, Ramana Chajyo, all big, big. And our, under the strict, under the strict shasan, you know, shasan means teachings, I mean, strict regulation of Rupa Sanatana Shasano Garve. Rupa Sanatana Shasano Garve. I mean, staying in the strict, strict, by staying under the strict regulation of Siddhanta Vichar, of Rup Sanatan, I am going to represent this kind of Shandarva. I have no personal thing, Jiva Swami But they want to claim the Sajya, idiot rascal, they speak. Jiva Goswami was not at all in line with Rup Sanatan, because he wanted to establish Sakya. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhavi Tavi Stavi Rijayeva Nijarupa Taya Kalavi This sloka, Bhakti Mahatma would like to write commentary writing, Jiva Goswami also, you know, all main writing. There you can find Bhakti Mahatma giving argument, nice Siddhanta Vichya. Actually, Jiva Goswami wanted to save all material people from their fall down. So merciful. Jiva Goswami was so merciful, nobody can understand this secret Siddhanta. So better, first of all, I can. But anyway, in Aprakita Jagat, Sakya means Parakya. Parakya means Sakya. Same thing. I can touch this point because I have to discuss so many things. In Aprakita Jagat, Golok Vrakinta, Vrindavan, Sakya means Parakya. Parakya means Sakya. But still, but still, material people, they cannot. That I can explain something. 
So Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, they don't understand that Jiva Goswami Pada is so merciful that he wanted to save common people from their fall down. That's why he wanted to establish it is eternal Sakya. Really so, I can prove it. Eternally Sakya. Though Parakya there, but eternally Sakya. Yes, right? What wrong in it? But still, Parakya is also eternally present. Bhakti Mata was speaking, Jiva Goswami wanted to prove eternally Sakya, but eternally Sakya means also eternally Parakya is also. Bhakti Mata wanted to prove what is not there, what is not there in Golok Vrindavan. Bhakti Mata writing, what is not there in inside Vrindavan, Golok Vrindavan, that is not possible here. Bhakti Mata writing, what is, what is eternally present there, that is coming here. So, Parakya eternally present there. Though Sakya. Sakya, why? Because there is no question of any marriage. There is no question of any marriage of those Braja Gopikas or Radharani. No question of any marriage. They are eternally present with Krishna, eternally infinity pure. So, there is no question of marriage there. So, it's surely. Ananda Chinmaya Rasapati, that's it, they are Shakya, eternally playing with those Gopikas. Shakya there, because there is no question of marriage, but the conception of marriage is there. I already told in Bihar that day, Sunday, that the conception, conception of Jutila, Kutila, Kangsa, Mathura, all, everything, Ayan goes, Ayan goes all there. Because if, the, if that conception is not there, then we cannot get nourishment of this Parakya Bhav. Parakya Bhav getting full nourishment by Parakya Bhav going to get this kind of full nourishment by the conception of Jatila, Kutila, and a Kangsa. All oh, there is countless impediments in the way of serving Krishna. There, you need to follow countless barriers in the way of serving Krishna. Krishna is so rare. So Radharani and Gopika, they are also failing. Even social bondage, social restrictions, they are going to break, na? kick out. All social restrictions, all, you know, regulation, everything they are going to break out. Only for the exclusive seva of Krishna. That don't happen. They are going to ignore everything. Let people criticize us, let people speak all rubbish, we don't care. So, this kind of conception of Parakya Bhav is one kind of extreme nourishment. Because if there is this, not this kind of feeling, then Krishna is so rare, we need to face different obstacle, barrier in the way of serving Krishna. If you feel, then you can get some excellent energy. Because our Guru Bhargava giving example, when from Himalayan hill, Ganga to Gomuk, Gomuk, when Ganga coming, Ganga going to face different kind of impediment, big, big heels and you know, going to push and after pushing then jump and go. So this kind of extreme flow, extreme energy of Ganga cannot be stopped by any hills or mountains, nothing. Finally can go up to ocean. Husband is philosophy. All rivers finally going to meet with their husband ocean. So you see, eternal husband Krishna, though with Parakya Bhav must be there, without Parakya Bhav, enjoyment cannot, oh, this kind of problem can be there. So all secrecy, all the uh, rarity, secrecy, all of must be there, is one kind of bumper success. I mean, going to booster, you know, energy booster. <laughs> you are going to get some special uh, energy in this way. So, Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking, don't think 
that parakya bhav uh, is not there in eternal Golokvrindha. Bhakti Mahatma is saying, what is not eternally present, what is not eternally present is Golokvrindha one, that is not possible to get here. You cannot get it here. So, surely you can get it. So, Bhakti Mahatma wanted to prove, no. You, uh, all they giving. So, Jiva Goswami Path wanted to establish Sakya to save us. Because common people, that day I already told, so long as you have the conception of man and woman, not possible. I am very sorry to speak. Because at present, so people are misguided. I know they cannot accept my opinion. They can reject me. But still, I am bound to speak. I know everybody. That is, they cannot accept me. But what to do? I have to speak parampara. I am sitting here to speak all Shautapanthana. I cannot manufacture any Siddhanta which are inside. All coming from up. So, Bhakti Mundra is speaking eternally present Parakya Bha. Parakya conception there also. And the conception of Jatila, Kutila, Ayan, Ghost, Kongsho, all Agasur, Bhagas, all conception is there. Conception. In reality, in reality, there is not there. <clears throat> so, Bhakti Muttak wanted to prove Jiva Goswami Pad never wanted to break any rules and regulation or Siddhanta Vichar of Rup Sanatana. On the contrary, he wanted to write with strong rigidity that I am under the strict guidance, I am under the strict guidance of Rup Sanatan by following all our previous Acharyas, Vridya Vaishnavai, I am going to represent this thing. Please excuse me, I have nothing to do myself. This way, the speciality of Jiva Goswami Path is endless. Speciality of Jiva Goswami Path is endless, we cannot. So, is endless Kepa. So anyway, I have to establish some Siddhanta Vichar. How Jiva Goswami Path wants to establish the divine dignity of our Guru Bhargava. Divine dignity of Guru Bhargava. After Rup Sanatan, he was the chairman of Vishwa Vaishnava He was the chairman of Vishwa Vaishnava The ultimate goal of Vishwa Vaishnava is to Protect and preserve, protect and preserve the divine dignity of our sampradaya and sampradayak sadhus. But people using now using it same otherwise. It is the final goal, ultimate goal of Vishwa Vishnu Brahmasabha to give full protection to all Siddhanta Bani and to protect and preserve all sampradayak Siddhanta Vichar and Sampradayak, Shadu and their dignities. Because Prabhupada many times wanted to say, because many times Prabhupada wanted to say, if Sampradayak Vaibhava, Bani Vaibhava is protected, many times Prabhupada, many times, if Sampradayak Bani Vaibhava is protected, come on man, if Sampradayak Bani Vaibhava is protected, protected, then everything is protected. Don't understand. Try to get the inner meaning. Prabhupada wanted to say, if Shauta Pantha, Shauta Bani is protected, well preserved and protected, in that case we can keep hope that our Sampradaya can survive. Because if Sampradaya Bani Bhubhabi Bhubha, Bhubha is distorted, if our previous Acharya, present Acharya is deviated from the track of Sautapantha, then it can, we can lose everything. Follow, you can say. If we are su successful to preserve, protect and preserve Sampradayak Bani Vaibhav, that means, if I am successful to make such wonderful, disciplic, successive, uh, successive way, 
I mean, after this, after this intact way of flow of Bani Bhuibhav, if, if I can ensure, if I can ensure the intact and without any adulteration, contamination, total, if I can ensure the flow of Bani Bhuibhav intact way, then it is called the actual seva of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But people think going to foreign country, collect money and sit in a big chair like Ravan is called. You are going there. I am not going to speak, you don't go. But what you are speaking, that is more important. You are going there, you can go. Not that I am not going, you cannot go. I am not speaking that. Okay, you can go. But under the guidance of the Prabhupada, you will have to go. Under the strict guidance of Bhakti Thakur and the Prabhupada. Don't try to make new philosophy. But you are not following. Even some Acharya, when protest note, he wanted to write one disciple, his disciple. Big protest note against some society. Is Gurudev speaking? Don't write this, you keep it separately. Is Gurudev, because he's going to foreign country, he cannot get any place there. Gurudev giving instruction to disciple. Don't write it. No need. Are you no need mean? We'll have to obey the instruction of Prabhupada Bhakti Thakur. Whereas Bhakti Thakur and Prabhupada told, I can show you how many documents you like to see. Bhakti Muttakur speaking. Prabhupada speaking. We'll have to keep intact our Guru Parampara, Sauta Bhanta. If there is any displacement, Bhakti Thakur, you have to rectify. It is the duty of all Acharyas to rectify Bhakti Thakur writing. It is a duty of all Acharyas to rectify, they are not being. Prabhupada speaking, if there is deviation, we will have to give protest note, we will have to protest, strong protest. But nobody, those who are protesting, people thinking they are non Vaishnav. They are Vaishnav, that's why protesting. If they are non Vaishnav, they have no power to protest. Only Vaishnavas can protest. But this is the condition. This is a condition. So, at present I think nobody can accept, but still I can go on doing. Maybe after I go away, some Jivatma can accept. One Jivatma. So, going to foreign country is not, uh, pun I know, not bad. I am not speaking. But what you are speaking? You are going to divert all. The track, you are not going to maintain the same. You saw me? If you challenge me, Mahal Maharaj, why you are speaking? You saw me? If you challenge me, you don't note my voice, you challenge me and then bring what, what they are speaking. I like to hear. They are not speaking what Prabhupada told, Bhakti Mita told. They are making some new philosophy. Their main target is to collect money position and sit in a big chair to kick on Guru Vishnu, to kick on the head of pure Guru Vishnu. That is their target. That, that they are doing. That is their target. That they are doing. Now I can prove from the, from the Leela of Jiva Goswami. One day, one, one big Pandit, not one big Pandit, coming to Rupa Sanatan. Either you give me victory note, I mean you are failure, give me note, or you sit with me to discuss. Rupa Goswami Sanatam say immediately get one paper, I mean that time that kind of paper available. All right, we are, we are failure, you are successful giving. Big three note, you are. But Jibu Goswami Pad when came to know that Digvijay Pandit came in front of my great and great exalted, you know, my Guru Padma, Guru Varga, and he wanted to insult them. By taking the victory note, then he couldn't bear immediately. Immediately he was like fire. And by chance that Digvijay Pandit came in front of Jiva Goswami. Your Guru Dai, Guru Parampa, they are failure. They give me a certificate. So either you give me a certificate or you will have to give me victory certificate. Jiva Goswami Pad, with very humble mood, started some question. After that, 
the Digvijay Pandit become naked. When Jiva Goswami Baha started speaking, Digvijay Pandit discovered himself totally naked. No cloth is there. Yes. There it is written Siddhanta, Jiva Goswami, though our Paramahansa Guru Bargo, though our Paramahansa Guru Bargo sometime trying to avoid this kind of nonsense, but still, according to Guru Parampara, all our great Vaishnavas, they are going to protect it. Like Gorkisar Bhavaji Maharaj is called Big Acharya, Paramahansa Acharya Borjo, topmost. Why? You know. Because if you go through the Leela, if you can go through the Leela of Gorkisar Bhavaji Maharaj, you can find excellent preaching. How Maharaj? He never gone to America as a Oh, oh, you think only going to America, Russia, Prishi. Arup Sanatan gone to America, Russia. Eh? Who gone? Preaching is possible by Acharan. Our Pope was speaking, only if you are established, if you are totally established in the Acharan of Gauranga Mahapu, then even if, if you are staying in India, Bharat, you are a great preacher. The example is Gauranga Mahapu. He never gone anywhere, not preaching Harikatha, not speaking. But still his acharan is so powerful like fire. One day one rascal, one day one rascal in the uniform of Vaishnava Pandit came and speaking in front of Gorkishar Bhavaji Maharaj and they are going to wash my leg and the water was, uh, no, my, it can go in vain, useless. Gorkhisar Bhajan, no, it can, it can never go in with, give me, and drinking that water. You understand? That Brahman, I mean the so-called, the rascal, Pandit, he was his leg by somebody. And that water, he is repenting, ah, oh, my water was, they are so valuable, it can go in with. Gorkhisar no, who can told, it can go in bring it to me, give me, and bring it to you. So you understand the teachings of Gorkhisar Bhajan. Why Gorkisa Mahaja Maharaj wanted to enter in the latrine, public latrine? To beat us on our face with chapel. When Gorkisa Baba entering into latrine, that means Gorkisa Mahaja Maharaj wanted to beat us on our face with chapel. We rascal. We are not going to follow the instruction of Prabhupada and Bhakti Muttaku and Guru Bhar. That is the teaching. But we are shameless. We are like pros. We are shameless, we are like pros, naked pros. That's why nobody, now society is not going to give response. Papa speaking, why Gorkhisar Mahajima wanted to enter into latrine public? Because he wanted to say, well, let all those material people come, those who are feeling their importance, we are big, let them come and pass stool and uri on my head. Papa speaking. Let them come, those who are feeling, I am from a big society, big Aja, okay, they let them come and pass stool and urine on my head, that's why I am there. Let them pass. I am so fallen soul, thin adhuti. That's why Krishnadas Kuvirak Goswami, Puri Sher Ki Tvaiti Murshe Lagishtu. I am more inferior than Jagai Mada. I am more inferior than the insect available in the stool. In lecture we can pass. But in practically, you cannot show even a single man. Even a single man. Some ability to speak, some ability to make fool of public, then we can collect my ass. Oh, they make a kick on the head of Guru Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava. That is also our Vishwa Vaishnava Rasava doing this kind of thing. This is our peasant Vishwa Vaishnava Rasava. They are not cooperating with me. This is the activities of present to collect money and go. This is our Vishwabhashana Rasa. All failure, but not failure. Because Bhaktivinoda Dara can never go in vain. Somehow, some way, through, through some channel, it must be there. It must be there. So, Jiva Goswami wanted to teach us to protect and preserve the dignity of Guru Bhargava and Sampradayak Siddhanta Vichar is the duty of a real Acharya. You will simply protect it. 
Not one time, many times. I already told that when Balavacharya wanted to wanted to rectify, I'm going to cut short because no time. Once Balavacharya came in the bhajan kutir of Rupa Goswami Bhatt, what book you are writing? I don't know, don't know what. What book you are writing? Actually, I'm writing Rasam is the same. Very low voice. Okay, I can rectify that book. Huh? Ah, yes, very good. I'm lucky. Rupa Goswami is the home humble. Nah? No common sense is there. I wrote in Bengali protest not one. When there is no common sense, Kando gain, where from Dibbo gain they can get? Where there is no question, I mean common sense, where from they can get? You give me answer. Where there is no question, I mean common sense, even common sense, so idiot. Common sense is not there. Where from they can get Dibbo gain? Dibbo gain is not so cheap. I can make full of public and get it. Ah, I am the sevak of my Guru. Huh? You are the sevak. Then why is the symptom? If you are going to claim that you are the sevak of Guru, then all the qualities of Guru should be there. All Siddhanta, everything, but we cannot find it in you. So foolish people, idiot people dying this way. Dying this way. We cannot save them. Because they are not going to obey us. So, Jiva Goswami Baba was there by chance that time. He was playing on the hand fan, hand fan. Rupa Goswami was writing and Jiva Goswami was hand fan. Then he is coming and went to, wanted to express that kind of audacity. Okay, I can rectify this book. Huh? Okay, you are. Very lucky. Huh? But after gone to take bath in Jamuna, Jiva Goswami wanted to give him fitting answer. He also, Gurudev, uh, water is not there, drinking water. I can go to bring water from Jamuna. Yes, you can go. Take the picture and going to go. But the main target is to give a fitting answer to that audacity. To give a fitting answer to that audacity. He meet with, excuse me, if you never mind, what kind of fault you have seen in the writing of my Guru Path Padma so that you wanted to rectify? What do you mean? I mean, I mean to say, what kind of wrong Siddhanta, wrong language, whatever you have seen, perhaps you have seen, otherwise why you are going to pass this kind of remark? Then, in the meantime, by chance, one by one, there started argument in Shastra. Within very short period of time, Balavacharya gone mad. He gone mad, he was stunned. A small boy, a small boy, so great Pandit, endless Panditta, endless. He was soaked after taking bath and Jiva Goswami Path coming late after taking water, coming, uh, uh, Jiva Goswami Path coming late. In the meantime, he already taking bath come, and Jiva, um, our Balavacha is asking who that boy is serving you. Why? Well, no, I'm just asking you, who that boy is? Uh, what to speak, actually, is my nephew in previous asam, but not uh, as my disciple. Uh, he has taken Diksha from me. Oh, really? So, he gone, speaking nothing. But Rupa Goswami knowing everything, those who are Guru Vaishnav, na, they are brave. Even if you don't speak, na, by watching your face, don't speak even a single word. Guru Vaishnava sensor rate so high, even if you can come in front of Guru Vaishnava, can look at your eyes, they can understand your position. Then immediately, when Jiva Goswami was coming with water and uh, speaking, why? You could not bear that kind of mercy he wanted to show to me? He couldn't bear even that? He couldn't bear even that? He wanted to show mercy to me. He wanted to get out from here. Go away from here. And now at least, I don't like to hear anything. Go. Go away. To a eastern direction. Go. Then Jiva Goswami was crying, rusted into tears, and crying and crying and moving towards, because by, he cannot violate the instruction of Gurudev. 
Same thing with Loknath Goswami. Going to North America, go, go back. But if there is a go back, in this there is some secrecy to preach the Gaurvani, massive way. But people then don't, don't know. They are going to, they are going to pass remarked wrong way. So, Jiva Goswami going and going. One place is there, Baigaon. One Baigaon. Baigaon is there when Nanda Maharaj wanted to take bath in Jamuna without understanding time, two o'clock, night time. Ah, that, that is the place. Baigaon. And the, you know, the, all the parshad of Barun Maharaj took him away, abducted him. Abduction of Nanda Maharaj was there, that place. So, that could be staying. And it is written, Sarbo Sangmadini. I mean, all Satsandarbha, all he wrote there. That place. Almost every day avoiding prasadam, not taking. Brajabhas is coming, requesting, not taking. Sometimes taking some uh, yoga or this, that, but not taking. Milk. The, when they put too much pressure, then. Otherwise not have. So his body become very slim, very sick, without prasadam and water, by writing that book. By chance, our Sanatan Goswami, in course of his traveling through 84 crores, reaching there, Bhaji was speaking, one unique sadhu coming here, Baba, unique sadhu, Why unique sadhu, yeah, you like to meet him, very nice, not taking in water and prasadam. So nice looking, like one prince. Oh, by hearing description, Sonata was thinking, it must be Jeep. It must be Jeep. Let me see. Uh, going there, find Jeep Goswami path. So sick, sleep. What happens? Then he blasted into tears and rolling down on ground. Sonata picking him up and embracing him. What happens, my boy? This is the case. So Nathan was said, okay, well, come with me. Come with me. After that, we jiva, jiva backside, not in front side. Coming in front of Rupa Goswami path. Jiva Goswami is hiding somewhere. Then Jiva Goswami path and hiding. And So Nathan Goswami is the guru of Rupa Goswami path. So paying Dhanavad. After paying Dhanavad, okay. So Nathan Goswami asking, Sonata Tumanda is saying, Jive Daya, Jive Daya, to, I, mean, to, I mean to show mercy to Jiva can be there in paper, in book only. What do you mean? I mean to say, Jive Daya, this Siddhanta Vichar, this word, okay, we can find only confined in paper or in a platform. What do you mean? I mean to say, what Jiva has done wrong. So that you throw him out, he protest. Come, Jeep, come. Pay Dandavat. You excuse him. This is Siddhanta Vishar. When there is a question of eh, this kind of wrong Siddhanta Vishar, or if some, uh, you know, Godi some, going to insult our Sampradaya Guru, it is called Bhakti. Papato, it is called Bhakti. Not to give answer, it's not bhakti, it's called abhakti. You can fall down. After watching this kind of Siddhanta, if you're not going to answer, then you can fall down. Our Prabhupada speaking, the Prabhupada speaking. So, giving answer, fitting answer to this kind of, is a bhakti. Who told it is wrong? Eh? Who told it is wrong? So, Jiva Goswami, Jiva Goswami is going to teach us. We must also protest. Protest, but acharan should be there. Without acharan, if wrong activity in my own life, then I have no right to protest, write anything. Before writing any protest, you should get established in Siddhanta Vijayana. No, there should not be any leakage. Otherwise, people can point out, you are doing it. Hello. Now, at present, those foolish people, they are so foolish that they don't understand the technique for personal patishta. Some acharyas and sampradaya using it, I mean society, use it, but common people cannot understand. Common people cannot understand, but those the big Vaishnava, immediately they can arrest. What do you say? Within fraction of a second, what do you say? 
what you say, what you do, immediately. But foolish people cannot. Those who are 100% in line with Prabhupada and Bhakti Mithyapur, immediately, within fraction of a second, if you speak something, they can add, hey, wrong, wrong, this is wrong Siddhant. But foolish people cannot. They think it's okay. One bichar, I am asking question to you all. If I am going to declare, try to understand, never mind, I am neutral personality. If some Acharya is going to declare, all Sampraday, all fallen, all writing, all rubbish, they are rascal, idiots, failure, in budget, everything, okay. As per your opinion, I okay. okay. But you will have to prove it. When one Acharya is speaking, all our Sampraday, all our Acharya, all failure, okay. If you speak it, you will have to prove it, na? Otherwise, Human Rights Commission can send you. you need, I need not go to, go to court. Even Human Rights Commission can send you jail. Why you speak? You have to prove it, no? You are going to break the human right. You speak in this rubbish. But you cannot prove. You prove. Whereas the Prabhupada told that they are, they are having the same capacity like me. I am sending such a preacher those who are as good as me. That means, when Acharya is going to speak, that all Acharya failure, they are failure, then he is going to insult the Prabhupada. Going to insult, indirect. Going to insult Prabhupada. For insulting Prabhupada, he can fall down. And so clever, okay, as per your opinion, if I agree, that all our Acharya fail. Then after that, how clever you are, like crow, that you are going to show that this Acharya have given me this title. This Acharya have given me this title. You see? You already wanted to prove that they are all fallen. But you are very clever. You wanted to establish this Acharya. Uh, he gave me one title. This. You had to establish. I see. Right? If you are going to prove that a failure, then they are, if they are at all giving you title to cheat you. To cheat you, no? Nah? So you think this title is okay, that you can take advantage of that, but you can prove that they have fallen. Hurry. It's like crow-like behavior. Crow. Like crow is very clever. It's not good. If you reject them, reject all the way, you can reject. How? I'm going to write everything, all written. Only you have to check up after Karthik and I publish it. You know, what is this? This kind of thing going on. And Pajan is one kind of joking at present. Bhajan, at present, is one kind of joking. One kind of joking. Nobody is serious. No. No sincerity. No. Everything okay. All same. This is the condition. I wonder how possible. You want to prove that your Gurudev is failure. He is a liar. Ah, then you want to prove this. It's not good, no? You should have, you know, at least some sincerity. Truthfulness, truthfulness is not there. So Jiva Goswami Bhad wanted to establish the Siddhanta. To establish Siddhanta Vichar, I mean Allah Sampradayak Bani Bhavi Bhav, I mean dignity of Guru Bharga is very predominating factor, important factor. Otherwise, it's impossible. This way we can ruin everything. Only Baba speaking. To collect money is not our target. To collect money is not our target. If we do so, then huge amount of money can come. Then we can get this kind of audacity to kick on the head of Vaishnava, Guru Vaishnava. Even in Kalikal, in Kalikal, only truthfulness is the only support. All other four, three legs gone. Dharma having four legs. Dharma having four legs, na? Shashatta juk gone, Teta juk one leg gone. Dapar juk coming, one leg also gone. Tapa, dan, everything all, Dharma gone. Only, the only support is Satya. Truthfulness. Only the support is truthfulness. Very sensitive issue. I know you cannot bear me. I know you cannot bear me, you cannot digest. My, it, our Guru Varga used to say that one dog cannot digest pure ghee. 
In Bengali proverb, kukure pete ghi sojjo ayana. Bengali. A dog cannot digest pure ghee, very pure ghee. It is not possible for dog. Dog can get meat everything. So now our society condition, if pure Siddhanta, they cannot digest, they can look, develop loose motion. This is a condition. If you speak 100%, you can prove, but still, I can show you. You come to me, but publicly I don't like to speak because it's the question of Siddhanta Visha. I can show you they are writing wrong. I can show countless writing wrong Maharaj, writing wrong Siddhanta, speaking lie, speaking lie, writing letter to me, and after that I say, writing letter to me, this way. The letter is there, and he is speaking lie. Letter is there, I can go to court, but I cannot go. I am not so foolish. I have letter, all reserved, but I am not going to court. Speaking lie. What is spoke, what is spoke, all wrong. Speaking lie. This is the condition. If they are speaking lie, I mean, if at, if, if at least they are not going to get the support of truthfulness, try to understand what I mean to say. Don't take it otherwise. If some acharya, you are some sadhu, not even interested to take the protection of truthfulness, even that only support, how you can say he is human being? Not even human being. Not even human being. How we can say? Because they are not to, uh, they are not ready to accept this. The fact and figure is something they are going to write wrong way. Fact and figure, all the evidence there, something, but they are writing wrong way, only to get some stool and urine on their body. Only from road you can take some stool and urine on muk. That is what. That is what chief pratishtha. They are speaking all wrong Siddhanta, wrong bichar, facts and figure, they are going to de destroy, distort it. Facts and figure, this is the condition. It's not good. So, another very, in so many things I like to speak. So, Jiva Goswami path is the topmost Vedantic Acharya. Sarup Gosai was given the title of topmost Vedantic Acharya. Sarup Gosai was given the title of title of topmost Gauriya Vedanta Acharya. And after that, our Jiva Goswami path is the topmost Gauriya Vedanta Acharya. He wanted to prove some Siddhanta Vichara or Ramanusha with great respect. So many Siddhanta or Vedanta can come, I discussed already one year, one year, two years back in details about the Siddhanta Vichar Ramanusharjo, about the Siddhanta Vichar Matacharjo, eh? Suddha Dvaito, Dvaita Dvaito, Kevala Dvaito, all I wanted to discuss, long ago, all there in the internet. So every time not possible to discuss. So Jiva Goswami Path wanted to establish one very important thing. Though as per, though as per the Achinta Vedave Siddhanta Vichar Gaurangma, Actually, actually, Achinta Vedave Siddhanta Vichas were originally, we are getting from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Originally, originally we are getting this Achinta Vedave Siddhanta from Gorang But this Achinta Siddhanta, Achinta Vedave Siddhanta which are totally installed and implemented completely by Jiva Goswami. And after that, our Prabhupada, Bhakti Mita, all there, of course, there. So, in applied form. Achinta Vedavatta. That's why Bhakti Mir Chakur wrote Amna Yopraha Tatyam Harimi Hosarava Saktim Rasadin Tat Binang Shang Shajivana Prakritika Vilitana Tat Bingustang Shavavat Veda Veda Sakalamapi Hari He Swadhanam Shuddha Bhaktim Shadho Tat Priti Meva Iti Upadishati Gaura Chandu Swangsa. Iti Upadishati, Gaura Chandu Swangsa. Different, somebody writing this way, somebody writing that way. Some change there also. In course of time, somebody changing. So Gaura Chandu already told it, and somebody changing some last line. Anyway, same thing. So Achinta Vidave Satya means in, in this infinity world, in this infinity world, 
Prakit and Aprakit Jagat. In, in, in Aprakit Jagat and Prakit Jagat, both, anywhere. Anywhere you suggest. Everywhere, Achinta Vedavet Tattva must be applicable. Because infinity world, Prakita and Aprakita Jagat, both related with Krishna, directly or indirectly with Achinta Vedavet Tattva. Anything, any object, anything, all Achinta Vedavet Tattva. Without Achinda Vedavat Tattva, you will have to accept Mayavat. Even different kind of Veda and Aveda, Bicha. Like I don't know, Shuddha Dvaita Bicha, Dvaita Dvaita Bicha, Vishuddha Dvaita Bicha, Kevala Dvaita Bicha, all different. But Mahaprabhu has given the key of solution. Mahaprabhu has given us the key of solution. After getting this Achinta Vedava Tattva, all the different opinion of all four authentic Acharyas, we come to conclusion. All solved. No fighting anymore. But previously, there was some gapping. So, some Acharya naturally, Madhya Acharya going to establish this. Ramanusha Ji wanted to establish this. But finally, Mahaprabhu wanted to prove all their Siddhanta is more or less okay, no problem. But according to if you apply this Achinta Vedavet Tattva with the full devotional mood, devotional mood, because Achinta Vedavet Tattva only applicable when you have devotional mood. Full devotion, not only half devotional mood. It's very scientific you know, answer. When you have 100% devotional mood, then and only then you can find right application of Achinta Vedavat Tata, otherwise you can start argument. So Jiva Goswami Pad was the only personality who wanted to prove the Siddhanta Vichar of Madhva Charjo is a little bit different. Ramana Charjo, who somebody is speaking, Shagata Ved, Shajatiya Ved, Shagata Vigata Ved, Shajatiya Vijatiya Ved, all different kind of discussion. Mane Brahma, there is no Shagata, Shajatiya Ved. You cannot understand this is a Vedanta language. Someday I can explain, I already explained before. Like in your body, like in your body, your eyes is separate, ear is separate, nose is separate, in the same body. This is called Shagata Ved. In your body itself, different kind of different, different things are there. I can give you an example. Suppose there is so many Gomata, that is all Indian cow. Originally, they are all Indian cow. Then there is one flock of cow, no different. But suppose if there is one, one outside cow, I mean who is not Indian cow, then there is different. Follow? In this flock, I mean the group, he is cow, he is cow also, but not same cow. So, Sajati Ved. Understand? I get my point, na? Very easy. And if you think about one cow, suppose Indian cow. So Indian cow there is some tail is there, eyes is there, ear there. So it is called in the body of Komata there is some difference. Different diversity there, no? Jiva Goswami wanted to say, though it is right that in Brahma there is no Sagato, Sajatiya Ved, I mean in Brahma, there is no difference. Brahma is all everywhere, anywhere. Wherever you go, Brahma is one and same. Jiva Goswami wanted to say, okay, we know. Brahma is one and the same. Brahma is one and the same. Jat Brahma niskala manantama sesha bhutam. Brahma wanted to speak. So, though we know, Brahma is one. Brahma is not different. All, whatever you say, this coal is Brahma, I am Brahma, you Brahma, eh, Tulsi Brahma, everything Brahma. Even in Gita it is speaking, na? Brahma, I am Brahma, I am going to give some sacrifice in fire, fire is also Brahma, ghee is also Brahma. <laughs> everything Brahma. Everything Brahma. Right. Jiva Swami said, okay, you are right. But that doesn't mean Brahma is without any diversity. Jiva Goswami wanted to protest. Though we know Brahma is one and the same. Hmm? 
Still, Brahma is decorated with infinity diversity according to the Siddhanta Vichara, Achinta Veda Vettata. That is a mistake in you, Ho Mayavadi. That is a great mistake in you that you are going to make mistake. A Brahma is formless, powerless. If Brahma is saying you are everything, then if Brahma is powerless, who is going to who is going to subscribe? Who is going to subscribe in this opinion? Who can worship that Brahma? Rascal. Brahma, no energy, nothing, nothing. Brahma is useless. One dead body. So who is going to worship? Your conception of Brahma is wrong. Ajiva Goswami wanted to establish big way. Okay? Brahma is one of the same, but still Brahma is decorated with infinity diversity that you will have to accept. Otherwise, you can go to hell. Follow what I say. Someday I can discuss all in details about the sloka I started with. Anadi nidanam brahma shabdu tattam jadaksharam nivartate artha bhavena pakriya yagato yataha There is from Brahma Khanda. It is, you know, Popat wanted to quote this. Bhagavan himself spoke. Brahma Khanda, there. Anadi Nidanam Brahma. Someday I can explain. You can understand why Jibu Goswami wanted to establish Shabda Brahma is the topmost thing. On the basis of this sloka, someday I can establish. But now no time. Actually, Ram, somebody waiting. So I can prove it. Anadi Nidanam Brahma, Shabda Tattam Jadaksharam. What do you call? Akshar Brahma, there is Shabda Brahma, there is Purna Brahma, everything same. If I speak, if I speak Brahma Jigasa, if I speak Brahma Jigasa, then it means Shabda Jigasa. Well, how? Yes. Brahma Jigasa means Shabda Jigasa. I can prove it. I can prove it. Why? So Brahma Jigasa means Shabda Jigasa, Brahma Jigasa means Atma Jigasa, Tattva Jigasa, all same. Why same? That I, someday I can explain. Today, excuse me. Anadi nidhanam brahma shabda tatyam yadaksharam nivartati artho bhavena pakriya yagatu yataha vanchakal patrubhasi ke basindhi bhavja patitanang pavane bhavishna bhyo nama yaya sila juga sepad maharaj ki yaya bhavanji maharaj ki bali maharaj ki palad maharaj ji ki jaya gaut pe manam de hai you see i know somebody feeling pain when i speak this way but no alternative. No, Prabhupada told, as soon as you come to know about the absolute truth, Prabhupada speaking, as soon as, in your life for the first time, you come to know, come to know about the Prabhupada speaking, immediately, without wasting your fraction of second, you will have to jump. If you make some delay, in the meantime you can die. I know everybody cannot digest. That's why I don't expect. It's impossible. They cannot digest after hearing this. <laughs>